Today's lesson is taking up the guitar. Hi, everybody. I'm Roger. Hi, and I'm Helen. Now, in today's lesson, we've got Sharon here, and she's taking guitar lessons. And she's talking to Ethan about possibly joining the guitar club. So, of course, I have to ask you this question, Helen: Do you play the guitar? I took some guitar lessons, but like Sharon, I didn't get very far. Sharon's at a point where she has just started taking lessons, so she's not a professional yet. She's not very good at playing the guitar yet, and that is where I would say I ended with the guitar. So, if you want to take up some kind of musical instrument or start studying it, you could consider the guitar. It's quite common. Lots of people give lessons, and you can sing along when you play the guitar. So that's what we're going to be talking about in today's lesson: taking up the guitar. Let's listen to part one: music club. Taking up the guitar. Music club. Sharon has just begun learning the guitar and wants to find people she can practice with, so she decides to check out her university's guitar club. Excuse me, is this the guitar club? It sure is. Is there something we can help you with? Well, I recently started learning the guitar. I heard there's a club on campus exclusively for guitarists, so I wanted to see what you do and if you accept newbies. Sure, this club is open to all ability levels. We're pretty informal, really. You just caught us during warm-up before one of our weekly jam sessions. We also work together to compose original songs for our end of semester concert. Is the guitar your first instrument? I used to play the piano when I was younger, but it's been a while. You're already familiar with music, then. Do you want to join us? Would you mind if I just watched for today? I'd like to get a feel for your group's vibe and see if I'm good enough to join. 大家好，首先在第一部分，我们看到的单词是副词 exclusively， 表示专属地、独占地。例如 ，This limited edition of Barbie dolls is sold exclusively at Walmart。这款芭比娃娃的限定版只有在沃尔玛超市独家贩售。又或者说 ，The restaurant offers a special discount exclusively to the Gold Class members。这间餐厅为黄金会员提供专属的特别优惠。再来，我们看到的单词是 newbie， 为名词，指新手菜鸟。例如 ，The Student Association provides brochures which include the school's information for newbies on orientation。学生会在新生训练时为新生准备有学校资讯的手册。又或者说 ，This kind of camera is rather easy to use, even for newbies。这款相机在使用上非常简单，对新手来说也是。接下来我们看到的单字是 warm up， 是名词，指正式演出前的暖身、热身活动。所以可以说 ，The teacher hoped that the warm up activities he prepared could serve as an icebreaker for the students。老师希望他准备的热身活动可以让学生们破冰。又或者是，教练警告我们，如果在赛前不热身的话，会很容易受伤。英文就是 The coach warns us that if we don't do warm-ups before the game, we may get injured easily. 再来，我们看到的是形容词 weekly， 表示每周一次的或每周的。例如 ，The boss asked his employees to file a weekly document to report their working progress. 老板要求他的员工每周交交文件，以回报他们的工作进度。也可以说。Nolan is intrigued by the weekly comics on the local newspaper. Nolan 被当地报纸上每周一次的漫画所迷住。接下来我们看到的单字是名词 vibe， 意思是氛围。举例来说 ，The music and food in the club provide a soothing vibe for customers. 俱乐部中的音乐和食物为顾客营造一股放松的氛围。又或者说。I think the energetic vibe in the gym is quite contagious because no one seems to be lazy in such an environment. 我觉得健身房中有活力的氛围是会传染的，因为在这样的环境中，好像没有人在偷懒
Okay, so in part one, it's all about the music club, and Sharon has just begun learning the guitar and wants to find people she can practice with. So she decides to check out her university's guitar club. Now I've been asked this question by people in Taiwan. Do you say play guitar or play the guitar? I would say you could say both. I'm learning guitar. I'm learning the guitar. Both are correct. Although I think in the United States we tend to say the more often. And if you're in England, I think they tend to drop the the. I play guitar. I play drums. I play bass, etc. I think you're right. I would say both. I play piano and I play the piano, and I don't think there's any real difference between the two. Right, they're basically the same. And so here, Sharon has just started to learn how to play the guitar, and she wants to find some people she can practice with. She wants to improve, and if you play with other people, it can be more educational. You can pick up some things from other people. And it can be a lot of fun. So, what can you do? What's a good thing to do? Well, you could consider joining a guitar club. So she decides to check out her university's guitar club. So here she's going to check it out. She's going to investigate it. She's going to talk to some people and find out some more about it. So here Sharon begins the conversation. So Sharon knocks on the practice room door and sticks her head into the room, and she says, "Excuse me, is this the guitar club?" Exactly. So I guess she's being polite here by knocking on the door first, and then she just sticks her head into the room and asks this question. Excuse me, is this the guitar club here? Ethan says it sure is. Is there something we can help you with? What would you like for us to do for you? Are you interested in joining or whatever? Right, Ethan sounds like a pretty friendly, open guy. So Sharon probably feels open to tell him what she is looking for, and she says, "Well, I recently started learning the guitar. I heard there's a club on campus exclusively for guitarists. So I wanted to see what you do and if you accept newbies." Indeed. So she says she's heard about this club. That is exclusively for guitarists, or just for guitarists, not for other musical instruments. So she wants to find out what it's all about, and she wants to see what the club does, what they do in the club, and if you accept newbies. And a newbie, of course, is somebody who is new to something. They're kind of green. They're a beginner. They are just、uh, starting out, and they need some help. Right, you can be a newbie to an activity, to a skill. Anybody who has just started out and doing something can be considered a newbie. And Ethan says, "Sure, this club is open to all ability levels." So he's saying to Sharon, "It doesn't matter if you're a newbie, if you're not a very good or experienced guitar player, because this club is open to guitar players of all levels." Of all levels, indeed, a beginner. Maybe you're intermediate. Maybe you're advanced. Or maybe you're just starting out and you're just barely learning how to play a C chord or something. Hey, they take anybody. It's open to all ability levels. And he goes on to say, we're pretty informal. Really, so they're not formal. I guess they don't have formal lessons where everybody has to sit still and listen, and no talking is allowed, no laughing is allowed. Nope, they're very informal. They probably accept any kind of、uh, teaching methods, maybe in a large group or individually and stuff like that. And he goes on to say, "You just caught us during warm up." Before one of our weekly jam sessions. Now, what's a warm up here? A warm up is usually an activity that you do in preparation for something. So, if you're going to go on stage to perform the piano, or if you're going to go sing, you might want to warm up first. That means you want to practice a little bit before you go on and perform. Right, so warm up as a verb phrase would be warm up as two words without the hyphen there. I need to warm up before I go jogging. 
for example. But here it's a noun. Here you caught us during warm up. We're doing our warm up now, so that makes it a noun. Therefore, you need to have the hyphen in there. They're doing their warm up here before they have their weekly jam session. Now, of course, weekly means once a week. They do this every week, and if they do it once a month, then that would be monthly. If they do it once a year, that would be yearly. But this is a jam session. A jam session. What is that? Well, it's not a session where they're making jam. A jam session is when musicians play together in an informal way. So they might just be playing some chords together or trying to think up some new songs. You might say we listened in on one of the band's jam sessions. They might be practicing or just playing very informally. You're、right. Maybe the drummer starts off with a standard beat, and the guitar comes in with、uh, some kind of chord progression, and then the bass comes in. Maybe we've got a saxophone, and they all just kind of make this stuff up as they go. They make it up as they go along. That would be a description of a jam session. I remember doing those when I was in high school band. I played the drums, and Steve Mason was on the guitar. His brother Pat was on the bass. It was a lot of fun. Now we also work together to compose original songs for our end of semester concert. So if you write songs, you compose those songs, right? Right. When you write songs, you compose them, but you can also compose essays or compose letters because when you compose something, you usually take more time to think about what you're writing. So when you're composing a song, you don't just write down the melodies as they come in your mind. You might do that, but you still have to think about how all of those notes come together to form a song. So when you compose an essay, you're thinking carefully first about what you're writing. Before you write, indeed. Okay, so they're writing songs for their concert that they have at the end of the semester. Now, here Ethan has a question: Is the guitar your first instrument? Is it the first musical instrument that you've ever played? And Sharon replies: I used to play the piano when I was younger, but it's been a while. So, when she was younger. Maybe when she was a kid, she played the piano. But it's been a while. It's been a bit of time since she played the piano. So probably she hasn't played the piano in a while. But、uh, at least she has some kind of musical background. She knows, you know, what notes are, what a chord is, what a scale is, stuff like that. And that will make learning the guitar a lot easier. Now, Ethan says, "You're already familiar with music, then." Do you want to join us? That's good enough for us. Even though you've never really played the guitar before, you can still join the guitar club. You know stuff about music. You have a musical background. So yeah, would you like to join the club? Sharon isn't really sure if she wants to join the club yet because she doesn't really understand what it's all about. So she asks Ethan, "Would you mind if I just watched for today?" So she just wants to sit in on their jam session and see how the club and how the club members interact with each other, how they play together. She says, "I'd like to get a feel for your group's vibe." Now, what is a vibe? Vibe. Good question. Well, I think it's short for vibrations, but it also means you know. How do you guys work together? What do things feel like? So I just like to feel what it's like to play with you and how you guys play and stuff like that, and then I will know if I'm good enough to join. I want to see if I'm good enough to join your club. Okay, that brings us to the end of the first part of our lesson. Let's move on now to part two: one-on-one -on -one tutoring. One-on-one -on -one tutoring. After Ethan describes the details of joining the guitar club, Sharon decides she wants to join. She goes to the club the next day, and Ethan offers to help her get the basics down. Thanks again for offering me private lessons. It's my pleasure. I actually love teaching the guitar. I used to volunteer at the community center teaching it to children. So you think you can get me up to snuff in time for the concert? I feel like I'm way behind everyone else. Don't worry about it. We can always write in some simpler sections for you.
Okay, so here's part two, one-on-one -on -one tutoring. So we've got a tutor, guitar tutor here, teaching Sharon how to play the guitar. Just one-on-one, -on -one, one teacher and one student. So after Ethan describes the details of joining the guitar club, Sharon decides she wants to join. So he tells her about the details, how often they meet. Maybe if she has to pay any fees, if she has to bring her own guitar, stuff like that. So she goes to the club the next day, and Ethan offers to help her get the basics down to learn the basics, like some chords, maybe E, A, C, G, etc., to learn the basic chords. And Sharon says, "Well, thanks again for offering me private lessons." Right, Sharon is feeling very good about taking private lessons with Ethan, and Ethan, being a very friendly guy, says it's my pleasure. I actually love teaching the guitar. I used to volunteer at the community center teaching it to children. Okay, so volunteer here is being used as a verb. That means you do work for free. You're helping someone out. You could volunteer at the hospital, for example, to help out there. Lots of、uh, retired people volunteer to work at hospitals, and in this particular case, she volunteered as a volunteer at the community center, teaching it, teaching the guitar to children. So there's a community center in a community where people live, and they can all go to this place for various activities. In this particular case, it's to learn guitar. For children, but there could be also maybe some games. Maybe they're playing bingo or something, or cards. Maybe there's a bridge club and other sports activities. Maybe there's a yoga class. Who knows? It's all taught at the community center. And Sharon says, "So you think you can get me up to snuff in time for the concert? Ooh, up to snuff! What's that all about?" Well, up to snuff, you might say that if you want to know if you're good enough for something. So you think you can get me up to snuff, meaning, do you think you can get me to a level where I'm good enough to perform in the concert? Right, and she says, "I feel like I'm way behind everyone else. Everyone plays better than me. I'm behind. I need to catch up." Ethan says, "Don't worry about it. We can always write in some simpler sections for you. So yes, we can leave the harder stuff for the more advanced players. We'll give you some simpler things to play, maybe just some basic chords, and you can be the rhythm guitarist as opposed to being the lead guitarist." Okay, let's、uh, move. On now to the third part. We'll listen first. Can we start by reviewing tab? I'm not used to reading it because the piano uses regular sheet music. Absolutely. Then we can go over the fingering for the most common chords. You're doing great so far. How about you go home and practice on your own, and we'll meet again at the same time next week. Sounds great. I'll see you then. 今天的最后一个单字是名词 chord， 意思是和弦、和音。举例来说 ，After the famous composer changed a few chords of the song, it became really touching and harmonic right away. 这首歌经过那位知名作曲家修改其中几个和弦后，它随即变得动人且和谐。Okay, so Sharon has a question here. Can we start by reviewing tab? What is tab? Tab is the musical notation for guitars, and if you've ever seen tabs, you'll notice that they look like little grids, and there are little dots inside the grids, and those dots refer to the position of your fingers on the guitar. Right, so it's tablature basically. So you can find those for various songs on the internet. And she says, "I'm not used to reading it because the piano uses regular sheet music, which would be the five-line staff with the treble clef and the bass clef and the notes and the chords all written on those five lines. That's what she's used to. She doesn't know much about tab." And Ethan says. Absolutely, yes. We can review tab 
absolutely means you bet, 100%, no problem at all. Then we can go over the fingering for the most common chords, and chords, of course, refer to when you have two or more notes sounding at the same time, and you need to place your finger on the frets and the strings for different chords. Then, after they finish practicing for the day, Ethan says. You're doing great so far. Up to now, you're doing wonderfully. How about you go home and practice on your own? You know, practice those fingerings for the chords, and we'll meet again at the same time next week. How about that? That's the end of your first lesson. And Sharon says, "Sounds great. I'll see you then." She knows that she taking lessons is one thing, but if you really want to get good at playing the guitar or anything, you have to practice because practice makes perfect. So she is very enthusiastic about what she's learned and about going back home to practice. And she says, "Sounds great. I'll see you then." And who knows? Before long, she's going to be the next Joni Mitchell. Okay, that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Here comes our Chinese teacher. Good evening, students. Hello, everyone. I'm Hanny. We're going to look at today's grammar point. The lesson subject is "taking up the guitar." Taking up the guitar. 表示开始学吉他，其中这个片语动词 take up， 它表示开始从事或是进行什么什么。那它可以用来表达说开始某一个兴趣啊、工作、学习等等，或者是养成某个习惯之类的。那么 take up 还有一个常见用法是占用。后面接的受词呢，通常是时间或是空间等等，像是 the couch takes up half of the room， 那张沙发占用了房间一半的空间。好，那么对话一开始，我们看到 Sharon 想要找能一起练吉他的人，所以就决定去看看大学里面的吉他社。他就敲一敲这个练习室的门，然后探头到教室里面问说 ：“I heard there's a club on campus exclusively for guitarists, so I wanted to see what you do and if you accept newbies。”我听说校园里面有专门的吉他社团，所以我想要了解你们都在做什么，还有是否接纳新手。好，句子里面的 newbie 意思就跟 rookie 差不多，都是指新手啊，菜鸟。那这边还有一个补充单字是 exclusively， 我们来学习它的字首字根。首先，我们先从字根 clued 这部分 ，c l u d 或者是 c l u d e， 还有 c l u s。还有 close 这几个字根呢，它们都有关闭啊、封锁啊、结束、围住等等的意思，像 include。表示把什么包围在里面，那它就有包括的意思了。那至于 exclude e x c l u d e， 它的字首 e x 表示在什么什么之外。那我们说这个字跟 c l u d 或者 c l u d e， 它表示关闭。好，那我们可以联想啦，我们把某个人啊，或者是某事物关在外面，那就表示把它排除在外，不包括它。好，那接着在后面加上形容词字尾 i v e， 变成形容词 exclusive， 那就表示排外的、除外的，也可以用来表达独占的、专用的。最后再加上副词字尾 l y， 就变成我们补充单词 exclusively， 那就表示专属地或是独占地。另外再补充两个动词 conclude，conclude 它的字首 c o n 表示完全，那么 clude 有结束的意思。Conclude 就表示结束、做总结。好，另外一个动词 seclude，s e c l u d e，seclude 它的字首 s e 表示分开，那么 clude 表示关闭。如果把自己关起来，跟大众群体整个分隔开来，那就表示孤立、隔绝喽。seclude 它就有使什么隔离、孤立或是隐居的意思。好，再看对话第二部分，我们有看到 Sharon 他已经决定要加入吉他社了。那么 Ethan 帮他做一对一的基础教学。Sharon 就问他说 ，So you think you can get me up to snuff in time for the concert？ 所以你觉得来得及在音乐会之前让我达到标准吗？那么句子里面有一个片语 up to snuff， 这在美语中是口语的用法，表示说跟预期的一样好，够好，达到可以接受的标准。例如 ，their performance wasn't up to snuff. 他们的表现不够好。好，以上是今天重点整理。接着回顾今天的单词吧。Weekly. 
In the summer, my dad likes to go on weekly fishing trips. Compose. Beethoven still composed music even when he was deaf. Volunteer. Beth volunteers at the hospital during her school vacations. Community. Our town holds a lot of community events during the holiday season. Absolutely. There's absolutely no way my parents would let me try motorcycle racing. Chord. The crowd began cheering as soon as the band played the first chord of their most popular song. Well, that brings us to the end of another edition of our program, and please make sure you join us again next time. From all of us here, I am Roger. I'm Helen. See, See you next time. time.